The big motorcycle companies are lying to you. You do not need gasoline to run your motorcycle. In fact, for less than ten dollars, we're going to show you show you that you can run your bike on propane or butane. Let me explain. Now I'm no science matician, science metologist, science man, but I did watch PBS once, and gasoline fire, propane fire, butane fire. Taylor Swift's new album, Fire. They're both LPGs. They have slightly different characteristics. Butane, I think, has a higher or lower boiling point, and then propane actually expands more when it's in liquid form. So we're gonna use butane. So we got a Gatorade bottle. We put this little fitting on the outside. We're gonna screw it on. And then we got this uh, this butane, and we put a little washer on there. So when we push it in there, it'll push down. A lot of stuff in there. Yeah, dude. That's at least 30, 40 miles. You think so? All right, so we're actually gonna connect this thing to IV. And with the IV, it has a little uh, little roller thing that, that opens it and locks it. It's on the lock position right now. And then what we're gonna do, take the other end of this IV, get the needle. So for about two weeks, we had IVs and needles sitting on, the, uh, sitting on my desk for a little while. I was hoping I didn't get raided. Is that what I do? I just stick it in like that? I think so. Let's see if this, uh, see if this works. Yep, I hear it. Hear it? Hear it? Yeah, it's coming out. Should we get a lighter and light it? Try it. I hate needles. I'm so scared of needles. Like, that needle will end up in my eyeball if I just, I gotta stay away from it. All right, so that's something. That's something. All right, so we need something to, uh, to hang this. Just so you guys know that we are actually running this thing not on its own fuel. We're gonna turn the fuel in the petcock off. All right, so the fuel is off. Now we're gonna drain. Now we're gonna run the bike and actually run the bike dry. So all the fuel out of the float bowl, so it's not running off the, off the fuel in the carburetor. I thought it would take a lot longer for it to run out of all the fuel. We're gonna take this. There's the carburetor. This is before the carburetor. We're gonna jam it right inside there. I'm gonna turn it on. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> you got me? All right, all right. What? Turn that off. So we clamp that down. All right, it's, take, it's taking a while for it to suck. Okay. There it goes. Turn it back on. This moment was almost as exciting as when I realized you can order motorcycles from Amazon and they came in a box. And just like in that video, this is about the time things started to go downhill. Oh, you, you still hear it hissing? Mm hmm. Should we stop it from hissing? Could help. I mean, it's leaking? Yeah. Hmm. That's weird. Well, Let's you know start putting more in. Maybe we're not getting enough. You know what's out. interesting? All of our leak would be eliminated if we just. If we cut this. We stuck this right inside there. Dude, that fired right up. <laughs> that was crazy. So what we think is happening is that we're not getting we're not getting enough uh, butane inside there to can, to keep it running. We have we have a couple leaks. So Craig's over here. We're working on a new a new fitting to eliminate all of this. This is where the leak is happening from here to here. We're just gonna take this right into the new fitting and hopefully that uh, that solves the problem. And then maybe we'll fill it up again. But if, if if you see when it when it sits for a moment, it'll fire right up. You know what I think the problem might be? What's up? I think the engine's the engine too big. I got an idea. So just like the first bike, we disconnected the fuel and rode the bike until it was completely fresh out of gas. All right. Don't stab your right, Craig. Okay. We're in. We're on. 
Whoa. Is that me? Oh, yeah, it is. Here, let's put it on here. There's some nurse out there that's like, <laughs> yeah. you guys are idiots. We wear gloves when we do this. You don't know how to do the thing with the thing? Whoa, dude. It's not liking that. All right, all right, we're getting somewhere. All right. Nice. Now, we didn't know if shaking the bottle was a good idea, a bad idea, or an explosive style idea. I mean, this is a 140, that's a, that's a 650. Not a math, I'm a scientist, but that's a whole lot less CCs. No, <laughs> is the needle flying out? <laughs> Don't worry, my leg caught it. We can fix this. Where's that super glue? Oh yeah, that's bad. There's some, there's some gooey stuff in the middle. This stuff takes forever to dry. Yeah, it's dry enough. Dry enough. All right, we're on. I'm just barely idling. That's running awesome. What well, you put choke off? I put it on. Oh. Smell. Smell different. That's so clean. Oh, dude, you can run that in your bedroom. Don't do that. So one of the cool things about butane and propane is, unlike other gases, is that it's, it doesn't smell and it has no. To it's not toxic. Unlike another gas I know, farts. Yeah, but you, you can't actually light a fart on fire. No, you totally can. You just, you want to wear, you want to wear jeans because it'll go back up if you don't. How, how do you know? Uh, I, I don't know. I just heard that. All right, so I think we got this thing figured out. We got this thing all wired up. Bottle's hanging out there. We got the line coming in here. And as you can see, it's still completely disconnected from any fuel from the, uh, from the gas tank. So this is completely off of the butane. I think I, I, think I just drive it away. Oh, for a little short, you can't turn right. Oh, is that right? Yeah. You came up a little short. I guess, yeah, try taping it right there. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I love it. I got one more idea. What's that? Maybe this bike's too big too. Let's go put it in the scooter. While Craig was working on the scooter, I was supervising. So like we did with the other two bikes, we disconnected the fuel and ran all the fuel out of the float bowl. Now let's see if this works. <laughs> hey! Now do you get throttle? Okay. Hey! Yo, this thing runs better than it ever did. <laughs> That's sick, dude. Lose power? Yeah, I did. Everything's looking legit. What do I have? So while Craig was working on the bike, I realized I haven't given away a bike in a while. This is why you need to become a subscriber. I'm looking for a subscriber who can be at my shop in Landisville, Pennsylvania by 11 o'clock with pizza 
for a chance to win an awesome little brand new mini pit bike. Don't feel bad if you're not local. We're gonna do more stuff in later videos. That's gonna be for you guys. So we got Travis. He's one of our subscribers. He just got here. He brought pizza like we asked in the ad. He's gonna be challenging Josh to a race on the little electric pit bikes. The winner gets that little beauty. Let's do it. Get set. Go. My brakes. <laughs> there it is. There Thanks it is. Nice to job. So for whatever reason, we could not get the bikes to run on butane for more than a minute. So we decided to try our luck with propane. But with propane, you need a special pressure regulator and carburetor, which nobody had. So we bought a 420 cc multi fuel generator and robbed some parts off of it. So we got it to run great on propane, but we had to regulate the propane manually. So functionality wise, we're, we're not really there. We tried hooking up the regulator from the generator, but we couldn't get that to work either. I feel like we were so close to figuring this out, but because I know that my subscribers are super smart and I know that one of you has the solution, the secret sauce. So comment below and tell us what we were doing wrong. So, I mean, uh, we really don't know what happened, why it worked in, in the KLR, why it worked in the, uh, the Pizza Pro, why it worked in this for a little while. Actually, this where it ran better than it's ever ran under the, uh, under the butane for a little while and then never really worked again. I'm not sure what happened, but let's see what the scientist says. I have no idea. But we still had a lot of fun giving that bike away. We still kind of got this working, kind of. And you know what, sometimes you fail and that's just part of life. Trust me, I'm no stranger to failing. Check this other video right here. We'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe.